the compressor, chiller, and installation kit came in. Stick around, I'll show you what we got. The compressor just came in. Let's unwrap it and see what we got here. This thing is freaking ginormous. I know there's a lot of packing underneath that, but let's see just how big it is exactly. So here it is all unwrapped, so to speak. This thing is pretty ginormous. Even Apollo's giving it a once over. My hopes is that this air compressor here will go back in the corner over there in between the door and our screen cabinet. Yes. So hopefully it'll fit. I'm going to take a tape measure and check things out. Here's the new chiller. Came on this tiny little pallet. I'm just snipped off the little straps that were on it. Didn't get much further than this. But let's take a look and see what we got here. I think I may hang this thing above the actual compressor itself. It is the Ingersoll Rand brand. There's a little instructions and everything that came with it. I'll definitely need to go through this and see what I need. It smells like a fresh book. And it came in this little insert. Isn't that wonderful? Whatever, we'll toss this aside for now. But here it is. Man, it's just, all this is a, a little refrigerator. Now that I've had a moment to measure off how wide this compressor is, I measured over in between the storage cabinet for the, the screens and it, it looks like it'll fit. The chiller will just go on top of the drying cabinet and then I have to run some lines. I'll probably have to rent another pallet jack just to get the compressor over there, have a few friends come over, help get the thing off the pallet because it weighs 650 pounds. I'm thinking the chiller will go here. We'll put the compressor here. I'm trying to think as to whether or not there's the inlet and outlet. Whether or not I'm just going to run some metal pipe to go up the ceiling here and then drop down to the press itself. Here is the air hose that we grabbed from the other shop. It's either that or I'm just gonna run it across the ground and straight to the connection there but I kind of want it off the ground. So we shall see. Just depends on if I can get a ladder tall enough and how much of a hurry I'm in. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to film us actually taking the compressor off of the pallet. However, I went down to business down the way. We actually did some business cards for the guys, but there was about four other guys, including me, that helped get this thing off the pallet. Let's get a little bit of a closer look. So it's now in its resting place here. There's plenty of space behind it for it to breathe. There's probably a good, almost two feet from here to the wall back that way. And the next thing I need to do is drill holes into the concrete and put the studs in, secure this thing. And there's the automatic kind of blow off valve that relieves the any kind of water that's sitting at the bottom. But it's getting closer. The next thing I'm going to do is fill this thing with oil and then I'm going to anchor the feet and we're going to run our lines. But let me install some oil first so I don't forget. Here's the little fill plug for our particular compressor. I have some oil here. 
And I'm gonna fill this thing up to the threads down here at the bottom. This particular model does not have the sight glass. And I'm going to use a flashlight so I can see down in there as I, as I pour the oil into the pump. It took an entire quart to fill this thing up from empty and it is right there at the bottom of the thread so you can kind of see the reflection of the oil. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this plug back in, a little fill cap and put that back in finger tight. Cool thing about this particular compressor is it does have a low oil switch off. I believe the oil is good for about 2000 hours. How you gauge that, I don't know. So if you know, leave down in the comment. One of the next things I am going to do is I'm going to replace this main air filter and the secondary filter. I'm going to just get rid of this. I'm also gonna replace the main regulator. So the main regulator, the secondary. I'll actually put the secondary air filter over here and the main filter will be on this side for how a workforce does it. System all taken apart. I'm gonna throw all this crap away. Minus this, the Mac valve. I have the top of the Mac valve taken off. I'm gonna use a little bit of silicone because the gasket looks a little old to that Mac valve. I'm gonna make sure that's clean before I put that thing back on. That's the Mac valve there. Before I put everything back together, I'm gonna do a little bit of test fitting just to make sure everything is going together as it should. And to make sure I don't need any additional parts. Hey, quiet it down out there. I have the new parts here. I did a little test fitting. This fits into the main filter just fine. These parts here fit just fine with the, the Mac valve. I have the, the bowl off, the, the catch, whatever you want to call it, off of both of these. I'll be able to get this onto this part here. However, I will have to get another one of these pieces here because this is on there pretty good. I don't have a clamp and trying to get it off. I marred up some of the threads there. So I'm going to get another one of these pieces here and then I've got a little bit of a situation here where the main filter is just bumping into this I thought about just taking the body of this thing completely apart I don't want to do all that because I don't want to mess up this part this was about 130 bucks so what I'm going to do instead is just take me a little piece of pipe or get an elbow fitting here, 90 degree, have it come out, put a little piece of pipe there, and have it come back that way. Give me enough room so that way this thing will install. I don't like having to do that, but as you guys can see, it is flush against the, the frame of this press. The electrician came, so I'm going to fire this thing up just as soon as I'm ready to get the press going. I still need to read into how this air chiller works. I know there's a little moisture valve right there that hooks up as well. But you guys will have to stay tuned to see me fire this up for the first time and the automatic press as well. Managed to get all my air lines hooked up. I put a little fitting here in the elbow. This is the cable that came with the kit. As you guys can see, it just goes straight into the back of the refrigerator, chiller, dryer, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. Got the, the fittings I need to reduce it down from a three quarter to a half inch. And then it comes out, comes over here. 
I have a valve down here to let any of the moisture out of the line. Every now and then I'm going to open that up and, and blow the, the moisture down onto the floor. I had to borrow the maintenance guy's ladder in order to do this, but it just runs up. I feel like I did a pretty good job having an anchor there. It goes up above the door and then it, it comes around, goes over, comes across the ceiling. I use a little tie strap, which I'll show you what I'm talking about if it doesn't go dark. So there's the, the little strap. These ceilings do kind of go at a, a slant, so the water runs off. And I've got a little bit of a hanger there. And over here, I secured it right there onto that beam. And then we have our hose coming straight down to the press. So now what I got to do is take that hose and run it down the center of the press and it will come out down this tubing and onto the floor. I ended up finishing the airline. It's not exactly the, the prettiest thing, but in order to get that main little main valve, will you stop it? Stop shooting the camera cord. However, in order for me to, to hook that up without it bumping into the machine, I had to do that. And it doesn't look too bad, but you know, hey, it will work. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this air hose and drop this thing straight down the center of the press. Okay, the air hose is going through the center of the press. As you can see, it's going through the base, coiling around here. I'm gonna coil this thing underneath the base and then I'm gonna hook it up to the main air supply feed back over here. All right, main hose is hooked up to the main air supply. It's coiled underneath there. That's about it for today's video. As always, don't forget that we are an official rep for CatSpit Production, so be sure to use our promo code MikeyDesigns at CatSpitScreenPrintSupply.com. You'll get $5 off your screen printing supplies or equipment purchase. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, turn on your post notifications, that way you'll get updates when we upload our next video. Until next time, guys, we'll see you later.